Hi, I'm Mike with Craft Supplies USA, and today we're going to turn a handle for one of our kitchenware project kits. These projects are a lot of fun to turn and make practical gifts that almost everyone will use. And the great thing about turning these handles is there are a number of projects that use the exact same turning instructions, so if you learn how to turn one, you can turn them all. And that's because these kits have an exclusive feature. A threaded insert allows you to easily remove the hardware for washing without ruining the handle. For this project, you'll need a blank, a kitchenware project kit, a mandrel, a 3 8 spindle tap, an 11 30 seconds drill bit, along with standard turning tools and supplies. Because we'll be cutting threads, blank selection is extremely important for this project. Hard dense woods take threads a lot better than softer woods. We recommend using a hardwood, acrylic, or a stabilized blank for this project. I'm going to turn this handle out of Paducah. Let's prepare the blank for drilling. Mount it in a chuck and set your lathe speed appropriately. For this blank, I'm going to keep it roughly around 2500 RPM. True the end of the blank and use a skew to create a dimple for the drill bit. Now that the blank is prepped, let's talk about choosing the right size drill bit for the 3 8 tap. For most hardwood and acrylics, the 11 30 seconds bit is perfect, but if your wood is on the softer side, use a 9 30 seconds bit. Measure the length of the threaded stud and add an eighth of an inch. Then mark the depth with the tape. Now place the bit and drill chuck in the tailstock and advance the drill by rotating the hand wheel. I'll keep my RPM to about 750. Stop when you reach your tape marker. Next, we'll tap the threads. I find it easiest to leave the blank in the chuck for this. Use a wrench or tap handle and advance the tap one turn, then back out a quarter turn. This should be a slow and steady process. Keep going until the tap bottoms out. For more detailed instruction, watch our video threading wooden acrylics. We'll link to that above. To turn the handle, we'll be using the threaded mandrel and bushing. It makes things much simpler and can be mounted in a drill chuck or a collet chuck. Thread the blank onto the mandrel, then advance the tailstock for support. Set your lathe speed. I'll have mine around 2500 RPM. Turn the blank around with a spindle gouge or a spindle roughing gouge. And make sure to take light cuts. You don't want to have a catch that could damage your threads. Turn the handle to your desired shape, leaving about a half inch of waste on the tailstock end that will trim off later. Now that I've got it to shape, it is time to sand. Sand through at least 320 grit, and my lathe is running about 750 RPM. Next, we need to cut off the waste end. Turn it down as far as possible, and it'll make removing it that much easier. Use a handsaw to cut off the remaining nub. Now we need to sand the end of the blank. Remove the tailstock and sand the end of the blank through 320. When selecting a finish, keep in mind that this project will likely see a lot of use, so we recommend something durable. I'll be using Waterlocks because it's easy to use and extremely durable. Using a paper towel, apply one coat of Waterlocks, wiping off any excess, and allowing one hour to dry. Now apply a second coat of Waterlocks, and allow 24 hours to fully cure. Next, use steel wool and some clear paste wax for a smooth, close to the grain finish.
I always use a little bit of CA glue or epoxy to thread the rod into the handle. It's an extra step, but it'll guarantee your finished project lasts. Once the glue is dry, simply attach the handle to complete the project. Now you've got a custom bottle opener that looks great and is a joy to use. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also be sure to visit us online at woodturnerscatalog.com for the largest selection of wood turning supplies in the industry.